What is up guys? It is Wilbur's TI and I'm coming back again with more videos. I apologize about the little break in the videos that haven't been getting coming out, you know. I've been kind of slacking on the videos, but I had to take a week off just to let you know all this little iPhone 7 rumors, all the little features that people were talking about, and plus with the release of the iPhone 7, just letting people come out with their keynote videos and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of wanted to avoid that little aspect of my videos. Probably not gonna do a keynote overview, but I'm gonna do a review on both the iOS 10 and also the iPhone 7, just a regular, and the Plus. Still waiting for mine to personally come in through the mail because we all know they were they were pretty hard to get. So I also want to give a little bit on the update for the contest for winning an iPhone 7 Plus. We need to reach 500 subscribers by September 23rd. So go check out the video. It's in there in the show note in the YouTube description box below telling you all the things you need to know about the details about the contest, how we need to reach 500 by a certain amount of time or the contest won't be valid. So, let's get into the video, and we're going to be talking about the top five miscellaneous things about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So, the first thing we're going to be talking about is Apple's big, big, big announcement of obviously the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. The 7 be a 4.7 inch display. It's going to be an LED backlit IPS LCD by 1335 by a 750. And the iPhone 7 Plus is a little bit of a bigger jump. It's the same backlit LCD display, but this is 920 by 1080. Um, and these are things that, you know, it's good. You know, that's a good phone. It's um, nice. You know, that's it's to the standard of where phones should be. But with the Note 7 rocking uh, way bigger than a 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 display, way higher, way resolution. And with a, a micro LED, or like this. LCD, like LED, like Apple is kind of slacking in this area. The Note 7, which they said was going to be one of the best looking phones, which honestly I have seen the Note 7. It's, it looks pretty good. You know, that screen looks beautiful, looks amazing. The resolution is so crisp in brightness. Um, Apple kind of slacked. They really didn't really focus on improving the screens. They just focused on the color contrast. So that's kind of where they kind of, it's misleading right there. They said this is the best screen in the market. It's not. The Note 7 and the S. And the S7, they put up a way better better resolution and they look better on a screen. All Apple did was basically just rechange and saturate more of the color um, options on those the LCD screens. So basically, that's one of the misleading options that Apple gave to us and it's something you have to take into consideration if you plan on getting one of these iPhone 7s. Next is this new color we all been talking about. Now, yes, the regular matte black, that nice matte black, that is kind of a new color that we haven't seen, that matte finish. But this jet black looks pretty familiar, you know, it looks like that. It looks like the original iPhone colors, and that's one thing I was kind of disappointed with Apple. I felt that with next year's, you know, the iPhone 8 or whatever they're going to call it for, you know, the 10th anniversary of the iPhone being a part of Apple, why would you release the original color, which basically is jet black, you know, if you all had those original iPhones, they were that nice glossy jet black. Why wouldn't you save that for, you know, the 10th year anniversary and make a big announcement like we're bringing back the original color, which is jet black. So I don't know where Apple was trying to do for that. Maybe a little bit of a marketing mishap they had on that, but that's one big misled. This is not a new color from Apple. Jet black is not new. Matte black is new, but this jet black is not new. That's the original iPhone color. So that's one way that Apple was misleading us on that. Next, we're going to be talking about the camera feature. Now, yes. We did see an improvement, you know, the same, it's still a 12 megapixel camera, so a lot of people are talking about the cameras. Yes, the Plus has two cameras, and the 7 regular has one, but it is a wider angle lens. Yeah, it's still the, almost the same exact camera on the regular 7. That regular 7, it's still almost the same exact camera. Yes, we have new additions of a four-tone flash, too warm, too cold. Yes, the um, cameras have been built better with the aperture feature, but the actual cameras themselves with the megapixels are still the same. And also, Apple kind of misled us a little bit, though they did say in the keynote, but from where everyone's coming from, they're talking about this aperture feature. Now, it's kind of misleading as you think, okay, the iPhone 7 is gonna, the 7 Plus mainly we're focused on, which is the feature for the 7 Plus, it's gonna ship out with that. You know, we're gonna be able to do that cool aperture feature, my face is beautifully perfect, that background's gonna be blurred, but no. This feature is not coming until later in October, so that's something that Apple misled us on. They still are gonna release an update in October of when we're gonna be able to do this cool little aperture feature, which basically they showcased. That was the main point. When they talked about, legit, the keynote was about an hour. They spent 12 minutes talking about the camera and that kind of feature, but at the end of it, oh no, 
it's not going to come out until like October on an update. So that's something that's kind of misleading. And it's something that I was kind of hoping for that would be shipped out with the iPhone 7 Plus. And then next, this is one that I personally want to talk to everyone about. I, I know down in my contest, I was like, tell me a feature you like and everything like that. Everyone keeps saying waterproof. Now, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, they're not waterproof. Waterproof means I legit could drop it in the fucking, ooh, I'm sorry, I just cussed. I could legit drop it in the ocean and it would come out crystal clear, beautiful. It would still work. Water resistant means I might accidentally drop it on the boat. If I go quickly grab it, bring it back up, we're fine. The iPhone 7 is IP67 under the IFC standard of 60529. Basically, that is the legislation. It's kind of legislation. It's like the rule standard that is released. And then the IP67 rates, IP100 means it's waterproof. 67 means it's 60% of a waterproof case. It means there are parts for water to get in. But let me get one thing for Apple. This IP67 compared to the Galaxy with the 69, I believe, it's pretty good. Like if you look at everything Apple Pro, he did a little video on it. They, this IP67 is very good. Like it's very good. So imagine what IP like 80 or 92 would be. Something like that would be crazy. And you don't really have to make it super fully waterproof. But this is awesome. This IP67 is good, but it's not waterproof. So people don't expect to accidentally jump into the water and swim. Like I've done when I went to Bermuda, I swam with my phone for about an hour and a half. And it got fucked up. My my iPhone 6, uh, it was a 5S. I swam. Dropped it at the bottom of the pool more than the six more than the meter that is recommended. So that's one thing we want to talk about. And last is the Apple AirPods. Now, we all know Apple is not gonna give these expensive AirPods and give them away with their iPhone 7s and 7 Plus and include them in the box. They're about 156 bucks. Pretty penny. The AirPods do not get shipped with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and they're also not available even right now for the release or in the further future. They're gonna be available later in October. So it appears like the keynote and the release kind of should have been in October for Apple to release everything. I felt that they just felt that they, with the Note 7, S7 already be out, they needed to release a phone and they need to get it out quick. So it's kind of what Apple kind of misled us as we felt like these AirPods would have been available by release and available on the shipping date. So Apple, you're kind of misleading us. Please stop doing that to us. So those are my top five miscellaneous things about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Still, it's a great phone, great overall company. You know, I support everything, but still, there's some misleading things, and you need to know that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the contest update. Come on, guys. By the 23rd, let's get that 500 subscribers. And once again, it's Wilbur Ti.